Um, and because of this, if you just took the same camera views of the vehicle's motion and ran traditional Gaussian splatting, you know, I don't know, Nerve Studio or what have you, um, with the same camera views, the views close to the train views look great. But then if you um, go to novel views that are far away from the train views, it breaks down quite a bit. But what we have in the middle column here is uh, Tesla's variant of uh, Gaussian splatting, where the same model can produce uh, Gaussians. It generally is much better uh, with the same limited camera views that the left side has. It can also produce semantics as shown in the third column. And the cool thing is that it can run ridiculously fast uh, compared to traditional Gaussian splatting, which can take you know, tens of minutes um, if you use the same traditional splatting, a lot of novel views might look blurry or like fuzzed out. But as I'm rotating here in 3D space, a lot of the structure remains intact. And such interpretable representations uh, can be used to debug the system. You know, like if it's going faster or slower, you can easily observe, okay, is it um, safely avoiding some obstacle or not? 